I don't know if you've heard, but CapCut has literally hundreds of different features, many of them you can use for free to enhance your videos. So here are seven hidden tools that you need to be using to ensure that your videos really take that leap to the next level. And when you use these tools, that's gonna help grab your audience's attention, keep their attention, and make them stick around for your video from start to finish. The first tool is using the speed ramp. You can use the speed ramp tool to do things like this, or even things like this. And here's exactly how you're gonna be able to do that. The first thing you're always gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have some sort of clip uploaded. As we can see, we have a very regular B-roll shot here, and we're just gonna add the speed ramp to it. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that clip is highlighted, the clip that you wanna use the speed ramp for. We come to the bottom of the screen, we see the speed option. So we press speed, and you have two different options, normal and curve. We're gonna take a look at the normal one first. So we press on normal, and we have a basic slider. This is a very basic way to use a speed ramp for your videos. Obviously with this, you can just scroll to the right, scroll to the left. That's gonna change the duration of the entire clip. So as you see, we have the set duration of the clip. If we move it to the right, we see how much that clip is gonna change in duration. So it goes from 17 seconds to two seconds based on how far to the right I move it. And if I move it in the op opposite direction, you see how much longer the clip gets when I slow it down. So let's say we have this clip here and right now it's 17 seconds, but we need it to be around 10 seconds. We can speed that up a little bit. When you're done, you come to the bottom right, press the check mark and you can press play and you see that it is sped up a little bit. Not too fast, not too slow. It's a good speed. But if you need to change that around, make it even faster, we can do that and see if we press play, you see how much faster the clip is. And again, we can move it to the opposite way. It's gonna slow it down greatly as well. That's using the normal speed adjustment, but the curve is what's really gonna help give you those cinematic types of speed ramps. So if we press on the curve option, we see that we have different presets of kinds of speed ramps that we could be using. You can obviously custom use a custom one. These are very easy, you just press it. You can see how the clip is going to look with those different types of speed ramps. Again, they're all different. They're all gonna be used for different things. It's all about your preference when you're editing the video. And the good thing about these presets is that you can actually edit them. You can go inside and do a little bit of tweaking at each point where the speed is gonna change throughout the clip. So as we see, this is the speed ramp now. If we press play, this is gonna be the way this preset works right now. But with each black point that is on this graph, we can adjust that to our liking. So if we come to this one, let's say we speed it up a little bit there, we see how the entire clip changes because of that little bit of movement. Now if I wanted to change this point, I can do that, slow it down, change that one, change that one. You can see how the entire clip changes because of all of this movement and customization that we're doing within that preset. Now this is something that we can speed up, slow down. We can move these dots in any direction that we want to fit the movement of the speed that we really want the clip to have. And that's the beauty of using a speed ramp and it's something that you can really play around with to get the exact look that you want for certain aspects of your videos. Tool number two is voice isolation. This part of CapCut uses AI technology to isolate your voice from any background noise that you may have. And with the tool, you even have the option to completely remove your voice from the video if you need to. And this is gonna be useful for, let's say you're recording outside and birds are chirping, the wind's blowing, little things like that. You can almost completely cut out that noise from your video altogether. So if we look at this clip here, learn how to turn your body into a fat burning machine. If we really listen to it, you can hear that there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of background noise. And I really wanna eliminate that as much as I possibly can. So all we have to do, make sure the clip is highlighted, we come to the bottom and we slide all the way to isolate voice. We press on that, you see, you have options, no isolation of the voice, you can keep the voice or remove your voice. All you have to do, press on keep voice, you let the artificial intelligence do its thing on this. Now you can see that the clip now is completely different than how it was before. So this is how the clip sounded before. Learn how to turn your body into a fat burning machine. And this is how it sounds now. Learn how to turn your body into a fat burning machine. 
the amount of background noise is extremely minimal now. And this is something that you will want to be using if you are recording in places like you're outside and you don't need any of that background noise interfering with what you're trying to say in the video. Tool number three is noise reduction. And this is a tool that is very similar to voice isolation, but it is going to work in a very different way. Sometimes when you're recording, your mic may pick up a little bit of the static sound. It's a little annoying, something that you can't really help no matter what you're doing or what environment you're recording in. This noise reduction tool is going to do everything it can to actually eliminate that little bit of background noise that may be interfering with you speaking. So it's not gonna be something that completely removes any background noise that's in the videos, but it is going to make it sound a lot more natural. And again, it's gonna eliminate any of that staticky noise that your microphone may be picking up just because you might have a cheaper microphone. When you use something like the voice isolation tool, it can be almost too good and sound almost like there's literally nothing else around you. Whereas with noise reduction, it's not gonna completely eliminate every sound that's going on in the video. So to reduce the noise, all you have to do, make sure your clip is highlighted. We come to the bottom, we slide all the way to the right, and you see the reduce noise option. We press reduce noise, and all we have to simply do is toggle this on and press the check mark. And at that point, the noise is reduced just like that. CapCut does a very good job of working quickly so your workflow can be as fast as possible as well. Tool number four is voice characters or voice filters. So you can easily change how your voice is, how your voice sounds, you can change and basically make you become a brand new character without having to do anything special with the video itself. So to do this, again, we make sure our clip is highlighted, the clip that we wanna change the voice on. We come to the bottom, scroll all the way to the right again, and we press on audio effects. When we press on that, you see we have voice filters, voice characters. Those are the two options that we're gonna look at. You see you have a ton of different types of options when it comes to this. And this may not be something that you always use, but it is just a fun tool to play around with. And it's gonna add just something different and maybe a little bit dynamic when it comes to your videos. So if we press, if we press this clip and just see how I we're sound right turn now. Your body into a fat burning machine. All right, we see how it sounds now, and let's do something like a space robot. You see how much more different I sound simply because I just selected a different option for a voice character. And again, this is something that you can really play around with and have a lot of fun with. Tool number five is stabilizing footage. Sometimes when you're out recording, you're not always gonna get the most steady shots for everything that you need to be doing. The footage can appear a little bit shaky. It's hard to have very steady hands if you're holding the camera the entire time and even for an extended period of time. And nobody wants a video where everything's shaking like this the entire time for the entire video. They're not gonna watch it. They're gonna get sick of it. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. So let's take a look at this clip right here. We see that I made it intentionally shaky just to be able to show you exactly how good this tool can be for you. So all we have to do is make sure the clip is highlighted, we come to the bottom, we scroll until we see the stabilize option. We press on stabilize and you're gonna have this slider that has minimal cropping, recommended, or most stable. So to really stabilize the footage properly, CapCut is going to have to zoom in on whatever the subject is just to make sure the, the stabilization looks as steady as possible. So that's why you have the options of minimal cropping, recommended, or most stable. That is basically CapCut saying, hey, we need to zoom in a little bit more to make the footage look a lot more stable. So if we slide to the first one, we do minimal cropping. You see, we play it. It's still a little bit shaky there, so it's not as good as it probably could be. If we go back, slide it up to the recommended, we come back and we play it again. We see it's just that little bit better. Now, if we go to the most stable option, we see we're very much zoomed in on my face right now. But again, that's gonna make it appear the most stable out of all of the options. And if we compare this to how the footage looked before, to how it would look now, this is how each option looks. You see that the most stable is obviously the most stable for a reason, but it's also gonna be the most zoomed in and sometimes we may not want that for the footage. So you just need to be careful of which one you select and what footage you're needing to use it for. But again, people are gonna prefer stabilized footage over a camera that's 
unstable and moving all over the place throughout the entire uh, video that you're making. Tool number six is the extracting audio tool. So with CapCut, you can completely extract all of the audio from any clip that you put into it. So to do this, all you have to do, make sure your clip is highlighted, come to the bottom, and you scroll all the way until you find extract audio. You press extract audio and you see if we look at our timeline, it's going to look a little bit different. There is a sound underneath the clip now, and that is all of the audio from the clip that is right there. And now you can edit these two separately. So I wanted to completely eliminate part of the audio in a certain part of the video. I can do that. I can uh, crop the entire audio if I wanted to. And that again, is going to be separate from what my edits are going to be from the initial clip that you actually see. So this just allows you to simply edit the audio and the image completely separately, which is going to be a benefit to you. And you can play around with it a lot and get creative and make your video stand out that much more. Tool number seven is AI movement. This is something that's going to add a lot more dynamic movement to your videos, but it's also going to help appear as though the footage is moving in a way that is more natural as well. It's going to appear like somebody is holding a camera and doing specific movements with that camera, even though the camera may be on a tripod. So here's a short clip. And as you can see, the camera is not moving, camera's on a tripod. There's no type of movement to it whatsoever. But if we go to AI movement, to do that, we highlight the clip, we come to the bottom and we scroll to camera tracking and we have AI movement. So we select AI movement and you see we have four different types of movement that we can have. That we have dynamic, zoom, shake, and soft. So if we just select dynamic right off the bat, it's going to analyze the clip and if we press play, you see how the camera is moving now based on what we just selected. If we selected zoom, it's going to be a completely different type of movement. And you can see now the camera is moving in a different way. And the same thing is going to apply for the other two options as well. But the good thing about these types of options, you can actually go inside and edit them. They each have their own types of settings that you can edit within them. So as you see, we can put this uh, shake option all the way up and we can see how that changes the movement. You see the, the movement is much more extreme at that point, but again, it still looks pretty natural for a camera that is on a tripod. Again, this is another tool that you can have a lot of fun with, especially when you are using it in the right way to make your video stand out that much more amongst everyone else within your niche. And there you have it, seven hidden and underutilized tools that you should be using to really take your videos to the next level to help you get your audience's attention, make them pay attention, and make them watch your videos from start to finish. If this was a video that you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, my name's Steven. I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.